Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kayla and it's time to crack into a good book. So today's author spotlight is to talk about Deanna Rayborn, who tends to write like historical mysteries, I guess. Um, so I've only read one of her series, but I do have three books of another one of her series. So um, we'll start with the one that I've read first so I can give you like actual feedback on it, I guess. Um, so this is the Veronica Speedwell series. Uh, so we have A Curious Beginning, A Perilous un Undertaking, A Treacherous Curse, and A Dangerous Collaboration. So I think this is supposed to be maybe like a five book series, but now that I'm saying that, I think I had seen on Twitter that she may have gotten the contract extended to books six and seven. I'm not exactly sure, but you know, we'll see. Um, but yeah, so, okay. Uh, we'll start, I guess, by talking about this. So um, these are like, the first book takes place, it's London, 1887. Um, so these are like, yeah, Victorian England. Um, I think the other series is as well, but they're just like historical mystery novels um, with like a very slow burn romance that is excellent. Um, so this, uh, our main character Veronica is an orphan, and um, in this book, the beginning of this, her aunt dies, so she is all alone in the world, um, and she is sh uh, she studies lepidoptery, so butterflies. She's very liberal for a woman of her time, I guess. So she's you know like pretty into science and obviously studying her butterflies, but um, in this she. Well, throughout this, she kind of learns more about her family and like, I don't want to spoil anything, but so we'll just leave it at that. Uh, so in this one, there's an attempted abduction of her and she gets help from this Baron who like introduces her to Stoker, who is the, it becomes like our friend slash slow burn romance interest. Um, and he is a natural historian. This Baron who helps her out um, ends up being murdered. So she and Stoker, Veronica and Stoker, end up like trying to solve his murder. So then in the second book, Perilous Undertaking, he's supposed to save this guy from being executed. So this dude is charged with murder and he's going to be executed unless the, uh, the real murderer is found. So she's like trying to solve this actual, the mystery and find the actual murderer. And I actually won a, an arc of this from Goodreads, like, this was one of the first ones I won, I think. Um, but yeah, so at, at this point, I hadn't read either of the first two books, and I think it was fine because, like, in this, they there's, like, little tidbits of, like, oh, you know, references to the previous uh, the mysteries that they solved, but it's, like, it, it's not crucial, I think, to read them in order. I mean, obviously, it is better to read them in order so you can get, like, the full development of the characters and whatnot. This one deals with an Egyptian tomb, I believe. And there's basically rumors that this this Egyptian tomb is cursed. I really am into Egyptian mythology, so and it like mentions um, Anubis s stalking and killing people. But yeah, so this kind of explores uh, Stoker's past a little bit more. Um, I really liked it. Uh, they're just you know fun mysteries. And then in a dangerous collaboration, we meet. Well, okay, so we've already kind of met Stoker's family, but this. Um, deals with this family a little more. So Veronica is posing as uh, the fiance of Stoker's older brother. So Stoker's brother's friend is hosting a party and basically the brother's friend's bride vanished on her wedding day and so Veronica has to solve the mystery of like what happened to her. But each of the people invited to this house is basically like a suspect in her murder. So. Um, yeah, I think maybe this one wasn't quite as strong as the other books, but I still really enjoyed it. I've given books one through three, um, four stars, and then I gave book four, three stars, but like I still really enjoyed it. Um, now I think book five is supposed to come out next year, and it somehow involves Jack the Ripper, which I'm really interested in. Yeah, so these are like kind of just standalone, well, the, mur or the mysteries within each book are separate, um, but obviously they're like plot points that develop over time and like the slow burn romance again. Um, so I would highly recommend these. I think they're fun. If you're interested in like historical mysteries with like a strong, intelligent heroine, definitely pick these up. So then the other series that she has is the Lady Julia Gray mysteries. So I picked up books three through five. So I think this is the third one, third, fourth, and fifth. So I found these at the Wake County library sale and I think they were a dollar each and I was like, 
I really like Deanna Rayborn, so like even though I haven't read books one and two, I'm probably gonna like these. And again, they were a dollar, so. So the first book is Silent in the Grave. Um, so I think the premise here is that Lady Julia Gray's husband dies and she is like, she discovers, I think that he has been murdered. And so I think she teams up with like a, a private investigator type person to solve this murder. And I, I'm, I'm pretty sure each of the books probably is like the same sort of format where like the mystery in each book is like self-contained, um, but we have, you know, plot development over time. So I think this may also be a slow burn romance. I'm not entirely sure, but like that's, that's my gut feeling, I guess. <laughs> So yeah, I can't say much more about that since I haven't read it, um, but I do plan on picking up books one and two. Obviously, I have books three through five, so like, I do want to read them. So book two, I believe, which is Silent in the Sanctuary. Ooh, I think there's a snowstorm in, that like prevents people from leaving this abbey where somebody is murdered. Um, so perhaps it's like a closed circle mystery, which I really like. Um, so that makes me actually really excited to pick that up. I, I mean, who knows if that's actually true, but... It looks cool. Um, then we have book three, Silent on the Moor. So I think this maybe there's some sort of like poisoning happening. It's like, but poison does not discriminate between classes, dot dot dot. Uh, so I think Lady Julia Gray may have to solve this mystery on her own. I'm not exactly sure. Oh yeah, that's there's totally going to be a, a romance here. I'm looking at book four and it's, it full on mentions Lady Julia Gray and her detective husband. So <laughs> there we go, question answered. Uh, this one, it looks like Julia and her husband go to India and to visit a friend um, who has been newly widowed. So I think we're probably trying to figure out if, well, is this husband murdered? What happened to him? Um, yeah. And then book five, we've got, ooh, this says something about the elusive ghost club. So I think in this, this ghost club, we may be, we've got some like mediums and perhaps some like spirit talking. I don't know. Um, yeah, that sounds really good. I think I'm going to like these. Just like reading the backs of these to tell you about them. Like, I really want to get to them. Um, yeah, so there's like a, a brief overview, I guess, of, of all the books. So then she has a couple of standalone books. Uh, the first one is A Spear of Summer Grass. Uh, in character lives in Paris and is kind of like, has some scandals that she's associated with. She is it turns out, I guess, exiled to Kenya because of these these scandals. I think there's some sort of murder or something happening here because it mentions like blood, um, bloodshed, and she has to discover what's worth fighting for. So I think this is, I mean, I don't really know anything about this, but I think there's, there's also some romance in here. I don't know. So I, I think it, I think the standalone books tend to be rated a little lower than these, these series. So like I would say probably definitely read the uh, Veronica Speedwell series. I think the Lady of Julia the Lady Julia Gray series sounds interesting. Um, I'll keep you guys updated on, on how I like that. Uh, the standalones, yeah, maybe not so, maybe not as great. Um, the other standalone is City of Jasmine. It follows an aviatrix. It says she never expected to see her husband again, who's, I guess he's like an adventurer or something. Um, I don't really know what has happened to him, but it looks like she ends up going to Damascus Oh, and then it's like an artifact once lost to time so valuable um, that criminals will stop at nothing to acquire it, even murder. Uh, so I guess she's trying to figure out like what happened to like where her husband has gone and also um, find this relic that says it's straight from the pages of history. So I mean, I don't know, maybe there's some sort of like Indiana Jones aspect. <laughs> I have no idea. I would say definitely, definitely pick up the Veronica Speedwell books. They're fun. Um, and again, I will keep you guys updated. Let me know in the comments if you've already read any of these books or you think you might pick them up. Uh, I hope you're all having an excellent day and reading something awesome. Feel free to give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Um, with that, I will wrap it up here and see you in the next one.